is we have this amazing news that Uber purchased Postmates. This broke a while back, but I've had this on here for a while and I've kind of been thinking about it, Austin. Um, mainly because I've always wanted Postmates to launch in the UK or Europe at least, right? You always hear these great stories about Postmates in the US and I just think in terms of a concept, especially here, it would work amazing. Like, you know, the ability for you to um, request a pickup of certain items from smaller stores because Uber works pretty cool in the UK, right? Or in London. You know, if you have a city or a town in London where there's a high concentration of really cool, um, you know, restaurants and stores that you can eat at, then it's really great to have Uber or delivery service, right? Because those um, restaurants, when you're having a day where you don't really feel like going out, you can have that food delivered to your home or modified menu, right? So it works pretty well in London, pretty simply. But I think there's also a scope, especially with the amount of, I think this, my thinking came from the fact that you would go to like an after hours, right? Or a house party or a warehouse event, or you'd go to, I don't know, you'd just be out in general. And you'd it, it would come to a point where people are now w looking for a place to go and no, looking for a shop to go to. But usually if you live in London anyway, for the most part, there is usually one or two 24 hour news agents that are usually open that can sell you anything from cigarettes to alcohol or to, you know, confectionaries. But they're usually way, way far away from where you are. It's mostly that happens in it. The shop that you want is nowhere near where you want to be. Um, or you have to walk a strong distance to get there. So Postmates would be a great option because, you know, you could um, essentially get someone to pick up something menial that you wouldn't necessarily be able to pick up in a normal restaurant because they wouldn't be open. And they could obviously charge you a little bit more premium for it. It might be, let's say, standard um, deliveries, like a six quid or five pounds. But there'll be a lot of customers for it. I definitely think so. There'll be a lot of customers that'll be down for it. And, and it probably makes more sense for Uber to purchase Postmates as a sort of add-on so they don't have to build out that entire feature on uh themselves right because i guess you'd have to build something else like an, an add-on or a feature or maybe another app um in order to make that sort of like um in order to make that sort of delivery service work for smaller stores but this is an article here from the new york times it stipulates that uber buys postmates for 2.65 billion dollars mamma mia so it says, yeah, um, Uber's agreed to acquire the food delivery startup Postmates for $2.65 billion as it aims to expand its presence in the on-demand food delivery while its core rider-hailing business struggles. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. Okay, they're propping it up. So the company announced an all-stock deal on Monday morning. Uber will combine Postmates into its own delivery subsidiary, Uber Eats, which has been growing and during coronavirus period of the pandemic. Postmates will continue to operate under its own name. That's amazing. Food delivery apps which connect drivers, restaurants, and customers have grown quickly in in recent years fueled by venture capital and armies of contract workers but the apps offer very um, similar services leading to heavy competition and pressure to keep fees low i definitely agree with that one um, it says while more people have been using delivery services during the pandemic profits have been exclusive elusive as a result that every app companies have circled one another aiming to make deals to gain scale postmates privately discuss uh, possible deals with doordash the largest service in the united states and another rival grubhub according to two people in knowledge of those talks interesting that grubhub is that big in the us and it's or doordash as well it's not that big here in the uk um I i'd imagine uber is the number one in or in the uk for the most part europe we had you know europe there's loads of little start little local startups that have done their own thing there's kind of taken off i think even parts of spain they don't even use an uber they have another app they use as well so it definitely changes depending on where you've been at but it's mad a competition in the us isn't it postmates doordash grubhub uber eats crazy it continues it says in recent months uber also discussed buying grubhub but last month grubhub was instead installed to just eat takeaway a european delivery company for 7.3 billion God almighty, said to together Postmates and Uber Eats would have 37% share of the delivery sales in the United States, according to Edison Trends, which tracks credit card spending. DoorDash would remain the largest uh, player with 45%, while Grubhub would have 17 So, yeah, so in order to survive, it seems like they've they all done some sort of what back behind uh, backroom deal where they kind of agreed to kind of buy each other out. I'm not sure if there was any favors really made, you know. It's not you're not doing someone a favor by lending them 2.6 or by giving them 2.65 million billion sorry i don't think that is a favor it continues here it says uber is looking for growth as people stay home during the pandemic and it's rather heading business struggles in may 
Oh, okay, that's what they mean. So I thought they meant Uber Eats. So I guess Uber encapsulates Uber Eats itself. They're not separate companies. Duh. It continues to say in May, Uber posted a $2.6 billion loss for the first three months of the year and announced that it was laying off 14% of its workforce. God almighty. But revenue of its uh, Uber Eats division rose 53%. From April to June, Uber said bookings for Uber Eats more than doubled compared to from the year earlier. Daniel Ivers, an industry analyst at Wedbush, at Wedbush Security said in a note that to clients that the deal was a defensive and offensive acquisition in the food delivery space. For Uber at the time, it's a core ride-sharing business, um, seeing massive headwinds in the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, for lack of a better term, if, would I be um, misplaced in saying that this is a very Travis Kalanick move, right? The former CEO and founder of Uber. It seems like a very aggressive move that he would have done, right? Super ballsy. You see that you're floundering, you see that you're kind of, you know, dying out there and you see a really ripe, um, you know, galloping gazelle striding near you and you drag it down and you kind of say, hey, I'm going to give you 2.6 billion if you join my team. And they and they obviously acquiesce because that's, you know, that's life changing amount of money, especially for an app that had a really, really small market share in the US Postmates, right? They tended to only really operate within the coastal areas, um, certain states. So for them to be sold for 2.65 is flipping incredible considering their, you know, the size of their operation. Um, blah, 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 blah. Postmates have valued investors, or was valued by investors at 2.5 billion. It's smaller than the other players with about 10 million customers. Founded in 2011, it was among the first startups to use the part-time gig workers to deliver customers wherever they wanted at a tap of a smartphone button. <clears throat> Pierre Gore, Pierre Dimitri Gore Cotti, the Uber head of food delivery, will continue to run the global delivery business. Uber said Bastian Lainham, Lainham, the chief executive of Postmates, will stay on board uh, during a regulatory review of the deal. Long term in inter integration plans are still being worked out, according to Uber. In announcing the deal, the company shared the final details mm -hmm. about Postmates. In the first quarter of 2020, Postmates had a revenue of 107 million, more than 1,100, more than 115,000 uh, 115, merchants use the platform. Uber said Postmates mm -hmm. had performed especially well in the Southwest, including Phoenix, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and San Diego. Um, Dara, whatever her name is, there, I can't pronounce that. Uber chief executive said Uber might integrate Postmate, certain Postmate services, including its nine pound, nine pound ninety nine per month subscription that provides no delivery fee on any orders above twelve. That's a clever little thing, there, and you can expect to see some of these tactics at Uber each. He said, "We think it's just a wonderful combination." Postmates has raised more than nine hundred million in funding from investors, including Spark Capital, Tiger Mountain Management. According to PitchBook, it had filed to go public. Wow. Just in time, innit? Just in time. And they paid a bit more. So it's valued at two, what, 2.6, they said on here? 2.4. And they sold for what? 2.65. So they got a few milli extra on top of it. What a deal. So let's see what happens then. Eh? Uber eats per Uber has purchased, sorry, Postmates. Um, I'm assuming this is going to affect its operations in Europe too. But let's see what happens to it in the US. I wonder if it's going to negatively affect Postmates or if it's going to be a good addition.